How's it going guys? In this video I'm going to quickly show you how to remove the infotainment screen on your Chevy Tahoe or Suburban or GMC Yukon. In my case I've got a small screen but it's also going to work the same way if you have a big 8 inch touch screen. I'm going to be upgrading to a better bigger screen. Stay tuned for that video, it's going to come out a little bit later. You can start with this small dashboard piece above the screen. Just pull it upward and it's held in place by these three clips. Next, move on to this side panel on the driver's side. Just yank it out to unclip it. That's going to reveal these two Torx T15 screws that need to come out. And there are going to be two more of these screws on the bottom of the knee panel. Unclip the knee panel and it's going to reveal this one little screw on the right side here that we're going to need to take out a little bit later. Open the armrest lid and then take out the center console. Just set it aside, there's no need to unplug anything. Next, unclip the panel above the glove box. It's held in place by whopping eight heavy duty clips. Next, remove the screw for the panel on the left side and then two more screws for the climate control panel. You'll need to use seven millimeter socket for most of these screws. The trim panel held in place by three clips and there's going to be six of them holding down the climate control panel and the bezel above it. Once again there's no need to unplug anything, you can just set it aside and here's the approximate location of all of those six clips for your reference. Next up, air vents. They're held in place by three 7mm screws. Once you remove the screws the air vents come right out. The infotainment screen is held in place by four of the same 7mm screws. After that, take out the screen and unplug all of the electrical connectors in the back by pressing the release tabs. There you have it. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks. Bye.